Hello everyone, this is Pedro with Cinemelt and today we are here with one of the most basic foundational pieces of gear that you could have as part of like your rigging kit on set. And that is the Mitchell Threaded Collar and Castle Nut. What makes our Mitchell Threaded Collar and Castle Nut different than everybody else's? When we machine these, we start off with 303 stainless steel billet and we get it machined down to this beautiful collar right here, this beautiful castle nut. And then we use stainless steel screws to complement that. And that creates the pins on the castle nut. And in case you don't know, we make a beautiful CNC machined Mitchell wrench, which works on JL Fisher, uh, Panther, and any sort of castle nut like ours that has pins. And the reason I think this is so important, so vital that I made a wrench is because that is actually the main reason why you would have or why you would use a threaded collar and castle nut is so that you can put a wrench on it and put a lot of pressure and get whatever you're mounting. It's usually really expensive cameras get that really tight and you're putting it on an isolator like we have here and you're mounting that to a vehicle and you're going to go 100 miles an hour you want to make sure that whatever you're mounting on there you can put a wrench on it and get it really tight what makes our threaded collar different is something really simple it is that because we added both the 3 8 16 through and threaded mounting holes not only that, we also included quarter 20 through and quarter 20 threaded mounting holes. Now, this is important because this is only gonna be a valuable piece of your kit if you can mount this on any number of things on set. And to do that, the most important thing is to have the right mounting pattern. And of course, here at Cinemild, we make a whole number of different things that you can mount this threaded collar to and make use of. For example, we have here our Ronin 2 universal mount. And so one of the things about our universal mount is we have a bunch of one inch on center spaced quarter 20 and three eighths. But on the flip side here, we have a counterboard version uh, of for the quarter 20. As you can see there, the screw just drops in and then it's sunken so that you can still make use of the Ronin. The Ronin can still slide in. So you throw these in there and as you can see here, they stick out. You take the threaded collar and then you locate the threaded versions, the threaded portions. And within seconds, you have our Ronin 2 mount on a Mitchell threaded collar. And so what does this mean? This means, of course, you can take any sort of Mitchell base that this could be on a dolly. This could be on a crane. You could just drop the threaded collar in there Take the castle nut Thread that into the backside Take your Mitchell wrench of course and Get it nice and tight and now you have the Ronin 2 universal mount ready to go and you can slide your Ronin 2 right into anywhere this Mitchell base might be on set. As you can see here, this is our wire isolator for, you know, for use on cars, on dollies, whatever. And as you can see here, we put 3816 bolts through the backside and we thread it into the uh, threaded collar. And now we have a Mitchell mount that we can slap this on any crane, any suspension arm, a black arm, our cinemilled action arm, put the threaded collar on there grab the wrench and get that nice and tight. Additionally, you know, we have a whole line of suction cups. We have something we call the hex plate. So the hex plate is used on the four and a half inch and the six inch round suction cup. We also use this on the back seat system. And so you might have one of these laying around. And if you do, one of the things you can do, you can take a threaded collar, you can take a couple of three eighths bolts and you flip this over to the back side, locate the two threaded holes that are one inch apart. You can take any one of our modular speed rail starters that you see here. We make them in both sizes 
you can mount that, bolt, the, bolt that to the hex plate. And now you have a mini Mitchell base that you can put on a dolly or on a crane and run a piece of vertical speed rail off of it. So you can hang any sort of suspension arm and do dolly shots that way. Maybe it's a rickshaw that has a Mitchell base. Anything with a Mitchell base, now you can run a piece of speed rail off of. Anything that we'll come out with in the future, we'll be using this same two inch on center uh, standard, which means you will be able to mount your threaded collar and castle nut to it. So honestly, uh, when I go to set, I usually have at least two, if not four of these threaded collar and castle nuts. Why? Because one might be mounted on my ISO plate. One by, might be pre-mounted like I have here on my Ronin 2 universal mount. So I can hand that to the grips and so they can start pre-rigging and to get the uh, Ronin 2 on a crane ahead of time. I might have an extra one so that they can start pre-rigging something else and build something else out. It is really the basis, the anchor, the foundation of pretty much anything you might be rigging on set. So it's vital to have one or two of these guys in your kit. You can use it for so many different things like you saw here and so much more that we didn't even cover. Anyways, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'm really good about replying to all of them and reading all of them. The other option you have is we have a fantastic Cinemilled users Facebook group. Finally, of course, make sure to follow us on Instagram. We're constantly sharing your photos from set using our gear so you can see how other people are using something that you may own. Finally, we moderate a great group called the Vehicle Rigging and Camera Car Group on Facebook. And it is full of really experienced riggers in there, really experienced grips. So that pretty much wraps us up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. We have uh, the Sitting Tip Tuesday series, which is great, very educational. You can pick up, hopefully learn a thing or two. Uh, we have our Angle series that we're coming out with more episodes soon and so much more. We're gonna have a podcast, all sort of good stuff on there. So make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.